Hi guys, welcome to my 60 week update of my fitness journey. I'm filming this a little earlier in the day, as you can see the nice shadow here kind of gives off some like cool vibes. So today I'm going to kind of talk about what I did this week, kind of like what I think about Orange Theory and my experience there and my injury that I have developed, I think. And then we'll get into the progress photos, which there's literally no progress there's kind of like some regression because it's almost time for your girls period yeah this week's a hot mess it's probably my worst week ever but um, I had some cool opportunities and everything so I guess without further ado let's just get right on into what I did this week before we get into the video though don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram that would mean a lot to me so I normally don't work out on Saturday but this week I actually did end up working out on Saturday so I could have Sunday off because I had brunch with some um, people I work for on Sunday and I wanted my hair to be like good clean nice so I ended up working out on Saturday on Saturday I did the 12 minute happy cardio super fun routine I really enjoy that one and I really like the music she uses in that one then I did the 10 minute ab workout by Alexis Ren one of my favorites and then I did the 20 minute full body workout that day was perfect because I loved all the workouts and it just didn't seem like that crazy to me that day so um good cardio full body workout um and then on sunday i did not work out because i had brunch and i don't know what else i did after that yeah i just didn't really do anything physically active on sunday and then monday was my orange theory fitness day which i'll lay over some b-roll now and i did some really cool things with like new equipment and i had you know a good time doing like all of the new extra exercises and everything so this is kind of like what it looked like in the inside and then here are some of the exercises I will put on the screen but I also wanted to share some of my thoughts and then I'm going to insert like a clip that I took like right after the class of like my first initial thoughts so I don't know if I'm gonna repeat myself but if I repeat myself sorry these are just my thoughts about like after the class um the first thing that I like put on my notes there was a guy that like followed up with me like after my appointment or whatever which was nice and everything because I took the survey and he was wondering like what I thought about like certain things it was really nice to check in after my workout and everything so he asked me like what do you mean by like counting because I guess they have different plans and other plans you know have a set timer for certain exercises which is great but also I was just going off of what I experienced that day in my survey so in my opinion and experience we had to count like reps which normal people in fitness do like that is not uncommon and it's fine but for me it's just like I really can't count and I know that makes me sound like a little crazy and weird but I like to focus on the music and my body like my alignment my you know mind muscle connection I don't want to be counting and like during the class I was thinking like oh my god I hope like the coach doesn't like count for me because because I don't even know what number I'm at so like I think when I feel like I'm done I'm just gonna be done so that was also like kind of awkward um, like the whole counting thing I kind of related it when I was talking to my mom about it it's like subtitles on a movie which a lot of people again use subtitles but for me I read the movie I don't watch the movie because when I see words, I automatically go to where the word where the word is. And I've already, you know, I'm not the fastest reader. I don't like reading at all. But since there's words on the screen, my eyes drawn to that. So I'm only focused on the words. And I don't even read that fast. So like I'm not even like complete I haven't even completed the sentence when they're on the next sentence and it's really hard for me because of like my reading issues and stuff yeah again when I'm focused on one thing I don't want to have to focus on like multiple other things if I were to go to a gym and put together like my own plan with like equipment I will definitely be setting timers for like certain exercises like 
30 seconds for that, 45 seconds for this. And I like to work out too for like the enjoyment of it. So like jamming out to like, you know, Jason Derulo or like something, like something fun, you know? I don't wanna be like, and one, two. Like that just takes the fun out of it for me, so. I would have liked more time with the equipment, like build in like some more time. Like if I needed to come a lot earlier because like when the coach just like randomly starts like yelling out, okay, this, I mean, she did tell me she went through like everything really good. But like, again, sometimes I don't pick up on things that quickly. Sometimes I need to like practice with the machine, you know, like I wish she would have like, okay. Cause I had never really been on a treadmill like ever in my life. Um, maybe to like goof off when I was like a kid like we just turn it on but like you know there's an incline there's the speed um I don't know there's other things so like it would have been nice to say have her like do okay now push this button and more like hands-on I guess I don't know I felt like a little lost sometimes when I was on the treadmill and like I didn't know how to get back to like a menu so I was like okay I think we could use some more time on the equipment to like get to learn how to do that. I really think that Orange Theory is a good place for people who like need motivation. The people there are super friendly and nice and welcoming, but like I already have self-motivation. Like I love working out and everything. And I mean, I'm not gonna say like, I don't need someone's like encouragement, but like, I don't need that. I don't know. I just said what I said I wasn't gonna say, but like, it's really good for people and it would be a really good fit for you if you, you know, needed someone to like say, oh, you're doing great like this and then like showing you how to do the exercises and everything. Like it would be really good for people who like that external thing in their life for fitness. For me, like I like being on my own and also like what keeps me accountable is these YouTube videos and you guys on here and Instagram. Yeah, like I think it would just be a better, a better fit for someone who does better with some external like motivation and everything. This is sound weird, but it's just like my mindset about this. For me, it was just so weird, like getting in my car to drive someplace to work out. I don't know, it was just weird to me because I'm so used to just being at home. Like I can get up, throw all my workout stuff, go out to the living room and bam, like do my workout for 40 to 50 minutes and then I'm done. And I don't have to like get in my car and like drive somewhere because as we all know, time is money and when you have to like get in your car to drive somewhere like you kind of have to like I don't know that's just more time out of your day to like do something so I don't know I just found it kind of weird and even if I did start going to a gym I might do considering all the prices and stuff it was interesting but I would still be like oh my gosh I'm like getting in the car to drive somewhere and like pay money to like work out which I can do on my own for free um that was another thing too like they asked me like some questions and stuff how much would you pay for like you know working out and everything and I was like in my head I was like um nothing because like I do that already on my own for free and stuff so it was kind of awkward but like clearly like orange tree is not gonna be free because they have to like pay rent they have to pay for the equipment they have to pay for the coach they, like they have to pay for like a lot of stuff so like clearly I know that like that you have to pay for a, any gym membership or anything but I just thought it was funny because in my head I was like um I just I don't know if I were, I'm very glad that I had that experience um, with Orange Theory and everything, but I don't know if like I would like go back to it like on a regular basis because like it is a little pricey for me. Um, I always said like if I won the lottery or if I had like a six figure income or like I don't know, I had my own like house and I was like financially very comfortable. I would totally sign up for classes there because it, I think it's like super fun. You do have that coach that like one-on-one -on -one kind of experience because there is a class. Um, luckily there was only like one other lady in my class at that day. Yeah, if I like financially could like comfortably do that, like I would say yeah, like that would be like pretty dope, but I would be looking into more just like the gym atmosphere um, to like meet more people. In the class, there's no time to like talk because 
you pay for the time that you're there and then you know the coach is saying like what to do and stuff so there's not a lot of time to like get to know people I wouldn't think especially how my class ran I was like saying to my mom I'm like I don't know I need to really consider this because it's expensive and like you know you put things on what you value and I do value fitness and, and working out and everything but I also have invested in like the fit like foods I invest money for epidemic sound for my YouTube channel I don't know I just you really have to consider you know the breakdown of like what you're doing um, when it comes to I don't know finances and stuff and I really do want to start going to gyms and everything when um, like I get vaccinated or also as you can see my face is horrendous because I wore a mask the entire workout and I must say it was very difficult wearing a mask while working out but yeah my my whole face is like awful so that's something that I hate it's also close to that time of the month for me so also my face is just like bad in general and um, I'm like bloated so that's great I think that's pretty much it for my orange theory review I don't know what I'm gonna put in the next clip but if I do um, put something in the next clip then here it is okay so I got out of the orange theory fitness class just a few minutes ago my initial thoughts which I'm probably gonna include this in my like weekly recap of my fitness journey videos and this vlog so if you hear this twice I'm sorry overall I loved the equipment and getting to try new exercises using equipment the treadmill for me is like super scary um but I did try a jog at the end and stuff and it was it was pretty good like I think I did it okay and um it was funny because the trainer she was like oh are you scared to like let go of the treadmill and I'm like yeah and it, like I don't want to fall off because that would be my luck to be like not paying attention and then just like stop and then me like fly off the treadmill so I think I would have to get used to that more if I continue to go and everything um I would definitely like suggest trying it out and everything um I really enjoyed certain aspects there is the only thing I could say that I really didn't like is that there's no like timer like 30 seconds of like these types of reps like you have to be responsible of counting 10 reps of something so that was like my biggest like I don't like it but the equipment too it was a little challenging at first to like learn how to work the treadmill and like the other equipment my favorite was the rower thing and that was really fun because like I don't know it just felt like a big toy and you're like pulling the cord and everything and I did feel it like in my abs and my arms and stuff the stuff where you have to like pull yourself up um, with the rope was super hard for me I don't know if that's because like I don't normally do that I normally do like push-ups so it's I'm normally pushing my weight like up like that not up using my biceps and stuff oh and if I like won the lottery I'd definitely like go and sign up for classes and stuff I already spend a lot of money on like these meals that I'm just about to go get so like I don't know like find financially if it would like make sense for me to to sign up for like month to month and everything yeah that's another factor that I would have to really consider the instructor played some cool music there were some songs that like I wish you would like take requests to like play because you know I would love to work out to like rock star you know it's like that cop car I don't know that song and like other music from like TikTok. I think that would be like really cool But anyway, that's my like total first impression rundown. I'm sure I'll think of things But right now I am just going to head into fit life foods This is probably like a whole video in itself and I'm sorry that it's so long Okay, I don't know if I just repeated myself in that clip, but that was like my initial thoughts like right after the class and then on Thursday afternoon I did the 30 minute abs and booty workout to try to not use my arms a lot Moving on to my injury, which I don't know like even how this happened, but I think I strained my bicep muscles. I cannot straighten my freaking arms. And you can kind of see like, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little swollen like right here and it just hurts so bad. I think it was from like the bicep curl like exercise, maybe because I'm just not used to doing that certain motion, like that range of motion. And when we looked up online, it's like if you do exercises are repetitive and everything and if you're not used to it, you can like hurt yourself. I don't know. Out of my whole 
life of like being physically active and everything this is like my first like real injury that like it's hard to do like everyday tasks of like reaching to grab something it's just like very difficult for me so today i'm just gonna take the day off and ice it and apparently it takes like multiple weeks for this to heal and i'm just like crap because i don't know i just like get into the swing of things and it just kind of sucks but um i just think it's because i wasn't used to um like certain that certain exercise and my body just like I was like, what's going on? I don't know what I'm gonna do for the update videos because I don't know if I'm gonna take like a whole week off. So that's just in the mix. I will still wanna do like ab workouts and like legs, but I probably just won't do exercises that require any arm movement, but I still wanna do like crunches and stuff. So I might do some like easier workouts. It hurts so bad here to here and then like here to here. But this arm is a lot worse than this arm because my dominant hand is my right hand. So I'm assuming because it's dominant, it's a little bit stronger than this one. Moving on to the progress photos, which <laughs> very bad um, because it's that time of the month. Also, just food wise in general has been terrible. It started out with, I don't know what it was like potatoes maybe. So I just didn't really eat that well. And tomorrow I'm having Chick-fil-A because I want to. Anyway, on the left is Alex at the beginning of a year two working out. And here is the side view of that. And I actually gained 0.8 pounds, which sucks, but it's fine. Again, like I'm pretty like bloated and just like overall feeling blah and tired because of like my arms and yeah so other than that like my the rest of my body does not feel bad at all it's just really my arms and like that the range of motion so i'm just gonna take it easy and i've already talked long enough so i hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and feelings i'm glad i had that opportunity and yeah so anyway give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it uh, let me know down below if you've taken any Orange Theory classes and your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.